this is a first for me. So this, that, was, that was the real hook about the scholarships. And that's why I want to really get involved in it. I don't know that much about it, but I want to learn. I want to be involved with uh, the students. So this is a new adventure for me. The gift he's making to SDSU is a very transformational gift in that it's, it's going to support scholarships for the university at a very high level. I mean, uh, the minimum amount of students each year who will benefit from his, his generosity, 150 students a year, will have opportunities to do things that they never would have had opportunities to do. And that's really an amazing gift, amazing investment in our students, amazing investment in the, in the future. The idea of scholarships for students intrigued me. That's what it was. Because I know how difficult it is having two grandchildren going to college right now. And they both go to, one's going to Indiana University, the other to Purdue, which I love. And back when I was going to school, it was no big deal to work your way through school. Now it can't be done, really. It's very difficult, it's expensive. When I just started thinking about it, it turns out everybody that works for me went to San Diego State. <laughs> and I've been renting to San Diego, so we've been connected for years and years and years. And I said, in a joking matter, we finally made it legal, you know? <laughs> and it was just the more, the more I got into it, I've already made up my decision. I made up my decision when I went to, see the dean you know it was a done deal that's why i was told from the office all people could hear was a lot of laughter going on it was a done deal and i feel so right about it so very right i'm proud to be officially connected to san diego state we need to have, raise more and more money and have more and more philanthropy supporting the university this gift helps us a lot and continuing the momentum of our campaign. I still, I check myself every so often and uh, it appears it's the right thing for me to do is to share this excess wealth. And this is where I grab a line from Andrew Carnegie who said excess wealth is a sacred trust to be distributed for the good of the community during one's lifetime and that stuck with me right from day one, and I like that. The conditions of my philanthropy, the same as, because I'm still active in business, that I have to have that in my gut. A lot of conversation, dialogue about it, doesn't work much more. It's gotta be there right from the get-go. When I built that um, emergency and trauma center at Mercy, that was instantaneous. It was done at a breakfast, and I was so anxious that it'd be underway, I insist on signing a pledge because I was going on a trip, which would have bound my estate. And I'm greatly, I'm, I've never been pleased with anything. I'm pleased with everything I've done in philanthropy. And right now, my favorite is San Diego State. But he's really a very caring man, has a wide range of interests, and I think he wants to make a difference in the world because he's been lucky to have the resources to do things and he wants to give back as he thinks that somebody of his wealth should do. And it's really, he's a really a real community resource. We are very lucky to have him in San Diego.